my hand a press statement sent to my office and I believe to all of the Senate and House offices from a congressman from Oklahoma, Congressman Tom Corbin, regarding the showing of Schindler's List this past Sunday. I have to tell you, we had to call the office to, to ascertain whether or not this was a joke. We thought it was a prank. The congressman in his press release goes on to raise concerns on behalf of the Family Caucus and says that the airing and demonstration of the television program that depicted sex and violence was inappropriate. He complains about the nudity of the program. I cannot believe, and I am shocked and appalled, that any member of Congress would put out a statement of this kind, the showing of those who were imprisoned and being sent to their death, seems to me that anyone who would make a statement condemning Schindler's List is totally out of touch with the importance of this historic film depicting the monstrous deeds that took place in the heroism that was also displayed. To equate the nudity of the Holocaust victims in a concentration camp with any sexual connotation is outrageous and offensive. I'm shocked and appalled that any member of Congress would make these kinds of statements. I'm particularly embarrassed that they were made by a member of my own party. I understand that the congressman is planning to make a clarification of his statement. And while I await them, I think that everyone should seek that clarification. Certainly, this should not be a view expressed by anyone in public office who is right thinking. Again, I thought that this press release was a prank at first, and it was only when I called that we verified that it was the case. The congressman should respond quickly and clarify exactly what he meant by this statement. I yield the floor. Mr. Speaker, on Sunday evening, NBC aired Schindler's List, the epic film about the Holocaust directed by Steven Spielberg. Yesterday, I was shocked to learn that a colleague here in this House criticized NBC for airing this movie, saying that it should outrage parents and decent-minded individuals everywhere. This film was aired to educate and to enlighten decent-minded individuals everywhere. There is a difference between gratuitous violence and history. Is this film violent? Yes. Was the Holocaust violent? Yes. Is this film difficult to watch? Yes. And that's why NBC warned its viewers to use their discretion in allowing children to watch the film. Steven Spielberg said that he would not allow his grade school children to watch, taking personal responsibility for monitoring his children's viewing habits, as all parents can and should do. NBC should not be condemned for showing this film. NBC should be commended for showing this film, a film that documents one of the darkest chapters of our world history, a chapter that we must never forget. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I rise today to discuss a topic that's being debated today in our media regarding the NBC airing of Schindler's List on Sunday night. One of my colleagues has taken offense to the airing of the show because it depicted nudity, violence on TV where our children would watch. And I deeply respect my colleague and his point of view, but I have to stand today and first and foremost congratulate NBC News for airing uninterrupted a three-and-a-half-hour movie 
of one of the worst tragedies in our global history. I must first also add that the rating system voluntarily initiated by TV broadcasters was used that night. I must also reiterate that Steven Spielberg, creator of the movie, came on with a personal appeal to allow parents to know that what they were about to see would be graphic, violent, and they should caution their children against watching this show. But ladies and gentlemen, this movie is real. The events of the Holocaust are real. This is not fantasy. This is not Disney World. This is not make-believe. This happened to real people. Their possessions were taken from them. Their clothing was stolen. Their lifelong belongings were stolen, and they were executed and murdered by Nazis. This was not some rating attempt to boost revenues. Ford Motor Company paid for the entire production of the show that evening without running a commercial. First time I can remember networks ever giving up commercial rights during a broadcast. Super Bowl, a million, 200,000 for a 30-second ad, went like that. Full lineup of commercials during Super Bowl, made lots of money. NBC News chose to not take revenue because America and every person on this planet needs to know the truth about the Holocaust, needs to know what happened, needs to see the historical significance of a tragedy that occurred so that they can become sensitive to the issues that confront us in this country. It's not enough to talk about anti-Semitism and trying to eliminate it in America. You need to know the roots of the problems and why people have been hurt and harmed. We talk about civil rights. We have to understand from a black person's perspective of where we have been in America, where they were denied access to water fountains, where they were made to sit in the back of the bus, where they were treated as second-class citizens. It's only through history will our children learn to become sensitive to the things that can change the course of history. Yes, it was a tragic, tragic show, and I watched it Sunday night myself, and I've seen it before, and I thought as that movie went on and on how these people felt, how they were herded off to their deaths by a demonic creature who was murdering millions of Jews because they were Jews. And we're not supposed to tell that story. We're not supposed to air it on TV. We're supposed to pretend it didn't happen. We're supposed to make up some whole new story and put people in clothes and not show the gunshot wounds to the head. We're supposed to camouflage all that destructiveness, that evilness, so that we can show people something that isn't even a true portrayal. And then there's calls for government to make mandatory ratings. And so 10 or 20 years from now, we may never know what happened. We may not know the tragedies that are going on in Cuba today with Fidel Castro in charge, because we're not allowed to talk about it. We can't portray what's really happening in our globe. I'm frightened for the children of our society that aren't being told the truth. But the one thing that I feel so great about in this country is that when I look at the young people, they're embracing each other, blacks, whites, Hispanics, Catholics, Jews, Protestants, because they believe in order for this world to survive, we must be together as one people, regardless of race, color, creed, or ethnicity. One people. That's my hope for our future in this country, that we will join together in a spirit of democracy and freedom for each and every one of us, regardless of where we were born, what our last name is, or what the color of our skin. But it won't happen if we can't tell the truth. It won't happen if we can't tell it like it is. So for the government to get in the rating business now and say we're going to have mandatory ratings and take away the historical importance of the show I watched Sunday night and was proud to view simply because it taught me something about what happened at that horrible event. So I urged people around America to call in, support what NBC showed on Sunday night. Because I think that's what America's about, telling the truth. I yield back.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Permit me uh, to take a moment to clarify a statement that I issued yesterday criticizing NBC's broadcast of Schindler's List last Sunday evening, uh, which, was viewed, which was broadcast during uh, primetime viewing hours. Uh, I would want the ladies and gentlemen of this body as well as this country to not have any mistake that I believe that this movie is a landmark movie, a remarkable movie that profoundly affected me as well as my wife and our family uh, as we watched it. Indeed, I, I in, instructed my daughters uh, to view this movie uh, and have had many discussions with friends and neighbors alike about the atrocities of the Holocaust that were uh, made aware to us and made apparent to us through this movie. <clears throat> I feel terrible that my criticism of NBC for airing this movie has been misinterpreted as a criticism of Schindler's List or the millions of Jews who died senselessly uh, during the Holocaust. To all those that I've offended, I offer an apology. Uh, and I personally apologize for appearing insensitive uh, to the worst atrocities known to humankind. As many of you know, I'm a practicing physician <clears throat> dealing with life and death issues almost every day. I have devoted most of my adult life to working with religious groups across the spectrum. Religious tolerance is the hallmark of my professional and personal life. However, I continue to be uh, disturbed by the new television program rating system recently implemented by the broadcast and cable television network. I've been a leader on this issue since I arrived in Congress. As many of you will recall, I offered an amendment on the floor of this House uh, to the Telecommunications Reform Act of 1996, an amendment that would encourage parental responsibility for what their children watch on television. My amendment, which passed the House, would have accelerated new 